And we are live once again dito sa Gurung Pinoy. And this is your Mathematics Majorship Celtic Drills Part 2. Magandang hapon po sa lahat, um, especially sa members ng Team Pablog na nakaantabay na po na naman, na naman dito sa um, Part 2 ng ating Celtic Drills. So again, tonight, um, this afternoon, we will be discussing um, um, Mathematics, Majorship, Celtic Reels, and this would be um, a supplement to uh, your uh, previous learning, uh, especially sa members ng ating Team Pavlov. Alam ko na uh, you've been in good hands with uh, Coach Kim and um, uh, Coach Kevin. So these Celtic uh, Reels will be um, a happy supplement to your uh, previous learning. So isang magandang hapon po sa lahat sa mga nanonood. Magandang hapon, Ma'am Rovelyn Yang Yang, uh, Sir Kabili Bien, Sir Abdel Juhiri. And uh, of course, um, isa na naman po ang shoutout. Kung gusto po ninyong uh, may shoutout, pakilagay po anang inyong mga pangalan, susunod, ang tatlong letrang inyong inaasam at kung saan po kayo nanunood sa ngayong hapon. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Ayan, so we are waiting for um, other members of the Team Pablog because... Um, Uh, most of the items that we will be discussing this afternoon are actual uh, licensure examination for professional teachers um, questions. So, um, um lang po at uh, magkisimula tayo uh, sa ilang sandali lamang po. Good evening, Ma'am X.A. Pangan. Uh, good evening again, uh, Sir Abdel Juhiri, um, Juhiri Muhammad Abdul Rashid, LPT, He watching from Hulu Sulu. Um, Ma'am Jamel Binyas, watching from YouTube, watching from Bicol. Of course, Ma'am Wendy Quinto, good, good afternoon. Ma'am uh, Sir Stephen Bitcher, um, AC Dagwayan, and Ma'am Kathleen Joy T. Lamosti, LPT. Uh, marami, marami pong Lamosti dito sa Iliilo. Ma'am Elna Blanker Pagong, 
LPT, watching from Leyte, Leyte. Ma'am Dayan Arante Tagumata, LPT. Good evening, uh, Ma'am Estrella Ramir Duran, uh, watching from Tarlac. Ma'am General Stutor, LPT. Ma'am Paris Delme, LPT. Sir Danny Salvador, LPT. At magandang hapon din po sa ating team YouTube, sa ating team replay. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Okay, shout out ko na nga rin po pala ang aming butihing Vice Mayor sa Bayan ng Carles, Iloilo, si Honorable uh, Vice Mayor Arnold Tan Bitita. Ayan, um, Ma'am Rose Ann De Chavez, LPT. Ayan, so again, this uh, live broadcast is brought to you by Gurung Pinoy, your number number one review authority sa licensure examination for professional teachers, pati na rin sa civil service examination. Ayan po, kaya please uh, like, and sh- like, love, and share our video para po mas marami tayong uh, marate, uh, mar- marating at matulungan dito sa ating live session for tonight. Good evening, Ma Marisa Masinag Sanggalang, Marjan Adarlo de Cama, and, and please keep tagging your friends para they will be uh, aware um, dito sa ating live session. Ayan. So um, again, magpapakilala pa ako ulit. I'm your coach, Toto. I'm your top one for the licensure examination for professional teachers, SPLE secondary, and I am a mathematics major, a former Region 6 State Colleges and Universities Athletic Association Quiz Me Champion in Mathematics and General Information. I was a former political science student from, for student from the University of the Philippines, And um, pagkatapos nun, I took up a BS Electrical Engineering from Capi State University. I was a former editor-in-chief of uh, Dequest, uh, which is the official student publication of Capi State University. I took my professional teaching certification program from the University of the Philippines Open University. And at present, I'm completing my Master of Arts in Education major in Mathematics from the National, National Teachers College. Ayan, so good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. Good afternoon, Ma'am Joyce Del Rosario, LPT, watching from Bulacan. And um, Sir Johnny Arnuco, um, um, nakakaisilingan dira si Sir Jolito Cabales. Good afternoon po. Okay, so Ma'am Wendy Quinto, good afternoon. Okay, so um, pitong araw na lang po at uh, we, you will be facing the, one of the greatest battles in your life which is the um, licensure examination for professional teachers. And dito po sa Gurong Pinoy, tulad ng ipinangako namin sa inyo, we will be here guiding you from the first day of the review up to the last day before you take the licensure examination. Kaya po, kung inyong napapansin, uh, medyo hectic ang schedules ng, ng mga um, teaching staff at mga coaches sa sa Guru Pinoy dahil sinisiguro po natin na na handang-handa po ang team Pavlov um, sa pagtake ng licensure examination so that we will ensure your success and you will be having your license and um sa susunod na mga buwan so good evening and just like um uh, the usual we will be starting this um, review session uh, with a prayer Um, hihingit muna tayo ng guidance so that uh, we will have a very fruitful and a very productive um, study session. So I invite everybody to please join me in in prayer. Uh, let's um, bow our heads and say our prayers. Dear Lord, I come to you to ask for your guidance and direction in this study session. I ask that the Holy Spirit fill me with strength, creativity, and understanding to get through my studies without difficulty or sin. Help me hold my focus and attention. Help me to retain all that I learn. Please make my mind sharp and keep distractions at bay. If any part of my studying is weak or lacking in some way, let it be revealed so that I may correct it. Thank you for this opportunity to learn. Amen. Ayan, nakapag, uh, nakahingi na po tayo ng guidance at wisdom sa um, uh, ngayong hapon. So, um, kahapon, we uh, ended our session uh, at uh, question number 20 and we will be starting with a bonus question. Pero um, tulad ng dati, I am asking everybody to please uh, join. Uh, sumali po sa discussion and sabayan niyo po ako sa pag-usol. I hope na ready na po ang inyong mga calculators. I ask you to prepare um, a Casio FX 570 ES Plus calculator dahil po pag ito ang calculator ninyo, wala pag risk na na pwedeng ibawal during the licensure examination. And tulad ng sinabi ko rin kahapon, may mga um, uh, kasamang uh, tulong ang takip ng Casio FX 
uh, 570 ES Plus. Ayan. So, and again, uh, tulad ng ginawa natin kahapon ay sisimulan natin ang ang ating review session sa pamamagitan ng pag-reset ng ating calculators. At uh, please be reminded sa during the literature examination before anything else, you reset your calculators. And you do that by pressing shift, 9, 3, and equals and then press ac so nakapag-reset na po ba ang lahat ng inyong mga calculators kung nakapag-reset na po ng mga calculators paki um uh, bigyan naman po ako ng thumbs up sign please give me a thumbs up sign kung nakapag-reset na po kayo ng inyong mga calculators i'm waiting for your go signal good evening ma'am mernalyn rubes tamagos Again, but thank you. Uh, please keep um, tagging your friends so that they will be um, informed of our study session for for this afternoon. Ayan. So, may mga thumbs up sign na akong nakikita. So, uh, pwede na po tayong magsimula sa ating next question. So, we ended up with question number 20 yesterday. So, um, this is your part two and we will start with a bonus question. Bonus question. Find the value of x and y in the following equations. 2x plus 3y is equal to 6, and 5y minus 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. Is it A, 24 over 19, 22 and 19, comma 22, 19, B, negative 24 over 19, comma negative 22 over 19, C, 19 over 24, comma 19 over 22, or letter D, negative 19 over 24, comma negative 19 over 22. What's your answer? Please keep your answer. It's coming sa ating comment box. Ayan. So, na inaantay ko po ang inyong mga um, answers. Again, number 22. Find the value of x and y in the following equations. 2x plus 3y is equal to 6. And 5y minus 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. Is it a 24 over 19, comma 22 over 19? B, negative 24 over 19, comma, negative 22 over 19. C, 19 over 24, comma, 19 over 22. Or letter D, negative 19 over 24, comma, negative 19 over 22. I see letter A. Ayan, mukhang natuto kayo yesterday. Kaya alam nyo na kung paano sagutin ang ang question na ito. So, we have here our um, steps in answering um, the question using your calculator. So, we set mode 5. Siguraduhin po na sa tamang mode kayo and we will use um, 1. Ayan. Ayan. So, sabi ko kahapon ay siguraduhin na natama ang format according sa sa format given by your calculator. So, that's A and X plus B and Y is equal to C and So, we input the numerical coefficient of the equation. So, we have here 2 equals 3 equals 6 equals. Now, kung napapansin nyo, dito sa um, equation number 2, ay nagkabaliktad po ang 3x tsaka ang 5y ang nauna minus 3x. So, kailangan natin itong i-convert into um, the standard form in the form a and x plus b and y is equal to cn para hindi tayo magkamali. So, ang unang coefficient na i-input natin ay negative 3. That's negative 3 equals 5 equals at ilipat natin ang negative 2 sa kabila and that will become positive 2 and then press equals and then you will have 24 your x sub 1 is 24 over 19 and your x sub 2 is 22 over 19 at tama po ang ating correct answer for this bonus question is letter A so congratulations tumama ang lahat hindi na nagkakamali hindi na nabubudol ng question. So, be careful. Always be careful. Ang advice namin sa Gurong Pinoy ay be careful in answering your questions and it will help if you can underline in circle and um, make markings on your test questionnaires. Okay lang po na maging dugyot ang inyong mga questionnaires. Basta siguraduhin malinis at maayos at tama ang inyong mga sagot sa inyong mga scantron sheets. So, congratulations sa lahat ng tumama. Um, yes, Ma'am Karen Roselio Posisano, uh, pwede po magdala ng extra calculator during examination. However, be sure na ang calculator, ang extra calculator ay um, tama po ang inyong um, ang according po sa memorandum ng PRC. Ma'am Joanna Gavaya YouTube, 
Sir, hindi po ba negative 6 yung constant? Um, uh, sabi ko nga po kanina, ay siguraduhin ninyo na according po sa, according po dito sa um, this form, um, sa form na eto, this one. This one. Ayan po. Palit po tayo ng ink. Ayan. Um, this one. Ang sabi ko kanina, A and X plus B and Y is equal to C and. So that's, um, ito po, ang A and X mo is 2, 2X and your B and Y is equal to 3Y and the constant will be on the right side of your equation. So it will remain positive 6. At dito naman po, ang, ang second equation, this will be equal to negative 3X plus 5Y plus 5Y is equal to negative 2. Ayan. Kaya po nagkaganyan ang 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 ang, ang, ang uh, mga numerical coefficient. That's um, 2, 3, and 6, and, and negative 3, 5, and positive 2. Ayan. So sana po malinaw po yan. Ma'am Jonah via YouTube. Uh, may memorandum ang 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 PRC sa actually this is for the engineering exam na na mga allowed calculators during the licensure examination. However, uh, we are advising you uh, to uh, bring with you ang pinakita ko kanina ng model ng Casio that's FX 570 ES plus para po um, sigurado kayo na nasa safe side kayo at wala pang risk of being taken away from you ang inyong mga calculators. So let's proceed to our next item. We have here item number 21. Solve the value of y in the system of equations. 2x minus y plus z is equal to 6. x minus 3y minus 2z is equal to 13. 2x minus 3y minus 3z is equal to 16. Is it a3, b, negative 3, c2, or letter d, negative 2? What's your answer? Please keep your answers coming sa ating mga comment box. Sa ating comment box. Ayan. So again, number 21. Solve the value of y in the system of equations 2x minus y plus z is equal to 6 and x minus 3y minus 2z is equal to 13 and 2x minus 3y minus 3z is equal to 16. Is it a3, b negative 3, c2, or d negative 2? Ayan po, tala po. Opo. I'm here in the Philippines um, since um, kailan ba? At three days na pa ako sa Pilipinas and I am broadcasting live from Estancia, Iloilo. Ayan. So, number 21, ang sagot ni Ma'am Elna Blanker is B, Ler Maris, letter B, Facebook user B, um, Sir Jobert Mendoza, letter B, Ma'am Kathleen Joy Torculias Lamosa, letter B. So, letter B, nagkakaisa ang ataong bayan sa letter B. Wala na bang nagkakamali? Okay, so this again, uh, are the steps in answering for this question. So kung nakita ninyo, kung kanina nasa mode 5, 1 tayo, ngayon nasa mode 5, 2 naman tayo. So let's ensure na nasa mode 5, 2 tayo. So that will make um, the format A and X plus B and Y plus C and C is equal to D and. Sundin lamang po ang format na yan para hindi magkamali. So um, input the numerical coefficient, um, that's 2 equals negative 1 equals equal sign and 1 equal and then 6 equal okay a second equation that's 1 equal negative 3 equal negative 2 equal and equal and 13 equal yan tama po tama po and then Last equation, we have 2 equal negative 3 equal and then negative 3 equal. And lastly, we have 16 equal. Ayan. So we will just uh, press um, equal then. Um, that's x um, is equal to 2, but we're not looking for x. We're looking for y, which is negative 3. Ayan, negative 3 po. At ang z naman po natin ay 1. So we're looking for the y value, which is indeed b, which is negative 3. Ayan. So, marami ulit. Lahat po ay tumama. Tumama. Parang ang galing-galing na ng Team Pavlov na gumamit ng kanilang mga scientific calculators. So, wala duda ay magagaling ulit sa Gurong Pinoy ang ating magiging top-notcher 
sa licensure examination for professional teachers just like the previous two editions of the licensure examination for teachers. Ayan. So congratulations sa lahat ng tumama. So we proceed with the next item which is again a bonus item. So the simultaneous linear equations 8x plus 3y plus z is equal to 17. Negative 2x minus y plus 9z is equal to 23. x minus 4y minus 6z plus 25 is equal to 0. Is it A? x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1, z is equal to 0. B, x is equal to 3, y is equal to 1, and z is equal to 0. C, x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2, z is equal to 3, or letter D, x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1, and z is equal to 2. Please keep your answers coming sa ating bonus item. Again, so the simultaneous linear equations 8x plus 3y plus z is equal to 17, negative 2x minus y plus 9z is equal to 23, x minus 4y minus 60 plus 25 is equal to 0, a, is it x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1, z is equal to 0. B, x, x is equal to 3, y is equal to 1, z is equal to 0. C, x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2, um, z is equal to 3. Um, or letter D, x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1, c is equal to 2. Please keep your answers coming. Please keep your answers coming sa ating comment box. So what's your answer? Maraming sumasagot ng letter C. However, may nakikita ako ang sagot ay letter B. So, ano nga ba ang tamang sagot? Is it letter C or is it letter B? Ayan. So, majority are letter C. Okay. So, again, um, kung napansin niyo, meron tayong apat na term. So, we'll be using, we will be using mode 5-2. Ayan. So, this is our calculator. Again, mode 5-2. Ayan, mode 5, 2, and then we input the numerical coefficient of the equations. We have here 8 equal 3 equal 1 equal, and that's 17 equal. That's your first equation. Uh, second equation is negative 2 equal negative 1 equal 9 equal 23 equal. And last, the last equation, that's 1 equal negative 4 equal negative 6 equal. However, kailangan natin ilipat ang 25 sa right side of the equation because uh, hindi siya nasa standard form. To make it in, uh, in the standard form, kailangan natin ilipat. So that will make it negative 25. So ang ating last uh, numerical coefficient is negative 25. And that is equal. So we will have here x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2, and z is equal to 3. And that makes letter C nga po as the right answer. So, letter C po ang tamang sagot. Ayan, sa marami po ang nakakuha ng tamang sagot sa bonus item. Pero may nakita akong iilan na um, hindi letter C ang sagot. For uh, those who choose letter C, congratulations. At sa mga hindi naman po uh, pumili ng letter C, ay ngayon, uh, now you know. So, okay lang po yan. Kailangan mamili at sana all pinipili. Okay? So, let's proceed to our next item. Yan, next item. Number 22. If x squared plus 2xy plus y squared is equal to 0, find the value of y when x is equal to 1. Is it A, 1, B, negative 1, C, 2, or letter D, negative 2? Again, number 22. If x squared plus 2xy plus y squared is equal to 0, find the value of y when x is equal to 1. Is it a 1, b negative 1, c 2, or letter d negative 2? What's your answer? I know that you're um, still computing, kaya mag-aantay ako ng inyong, tamang sag ng inyong mga sagot. And please keep your answers coming. Uh, please write the, quest the number of the question and the letter of your choice sa ating comment box. Please keep your answers coming sa ating comment box. Wala pa ba? Ayan, uh, Ma Marilyn or Kulu, letter A, Facebook user B, Ma'am Diane Arante Tagumata, letter B, Ma'am Laura Maris, letter B, Sir Jobert Mendoza, letter B, Ma'am Elna Blanker, letter B, Ma'am Hasana Johanna Unga, letter B. Ano nga ba ang ating samang sagot? Is it A or B? So kanina ay um, ang kahapon, alam na ninyo yung ang functions such as um, alpha calc and shift. So dito po, 
malalaman ninyo ang ang function ng comma ka ang comma dito so we will be using we will be using computation mode that's um mode one so this is mode one kailangan tama ang inyong mga mode para tama ang inyong mga makuwang sagot excuse me and then type the equation you type the equation that's alpha x squared alpha x squared plus 2 alpha x alpha y ang y po ay nasa taas ng s and d kaya po uh, malalabas lamang ang y if you will use alpha that's, that's alpha s d that's will that will display y and then plus alpha y squared ayan so ngayon magta-type tayo ng equal sign and excuse me uh, magta-type tayo yesterday we learned that uh, lalabas ito if we input alpha cal alpha cal okay so and then zeros however kailangan ng itong dugtungan dugtungan ng ng um a comma um that's shift comma that shift close parenthesis it will display comma and then and then um alpha y ayan so kailangan malaman ng inyong calculator na ang, ang hinahanap ninyo ay y Okay, so after typing in the equation and then comma alpha y, you press equal. Oops, syntax error. Wait, um, um, zero alpha y. Again, then um, mode one, mode one, and then alpha x squared, alpha x squared plus two alpha x alpha y plus alpha y squared y squared this is your x squared back sorry for this an plus alpha y squared then alpha calc alpha calc that is equal to zero and then comma shift comma then alpha y and then press equals oh what happened happen. Sandali lang, sandali lang, and then I will shift 9, um, 3, kapag ganito, ganito ang gagawin. Ayan, AC. Mode. Pwede, pwede actually, pwede actually, pwede i-substitute yung, yung um, substitute na 1, madali ito, madali, but we are um, trying to solve, um, trying to solve um, using our calculators. Pwede ito actually, you try to substitute. If you substitute x is equal to 1, this is 1 squared plus 2 times 1. This is 2y plus y squared is equal to 0. Okay? Alpha, um, alpha x squared plus 2 alpha x alpha y plus um, alpha y squared pala ang hindi natin kanina nakita. Alpha y squared. Um, alpha cal is equal to zero and then comma. Um, uh, oops, shift comma. And then alpha y. Oh, hindi ko na makita. You can use this. We will be um, going back to this. Um, ano nangyayari sa calculator ko? But this is the right um, process. Okay, uh, kung hindi makuha ang calculate rate, which is a normal event, occurrence, um, pwede pong i-substitute na lang ang 1 and then you will have 2x and y. Okay, we will proceed and we will come back to this uh, during the next session. Hindi ko alam kung ano nangyayari sa calculator ko. Uh, okay, I am using um, shift solve. Um, enter the value of x, enter the value of x, which is 1, and then it will give you the value of y, which is negative one. Ayan. Thank you for that. Thank you for reminding me. Okay. So that's um shift sold. Okay. So that's negative one. That's letter B. Ayan. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for calling that out. Ayan. So let's proceed. Talat po na nakakuha ng letter B. It's negative one. That's the correct answer. Ayan. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for pointing that out. Number a bonus item. Ito ulit. If x, 3x squared minus 5xy plus 8y is equal to 0, find the value of y when x is equal to negative 2. Same process po. Is it a negative 1 half, b 4 fifth, c 2 thirds, or letter d, negative 2 thirds? Ayan. <clears throat> 
Okay, so what's your answer? If 3x squared minus 5xy plus 8y is equal to 0, find the value of y when x is equal to negative 2. Is it A, negative 1 half, B, 4 fifths, C, 2 thirds, or letter D, negative 2 thirds? What's your answer? Ayan, pakitype in po ng inyong answers sa ating comment box. This is ship salt, indeed, ship salt. Ayan, ang sabi ni Sir Bien Kabili, it's letter D. How about the others, Ma'am Hasana? Uh, unga, letter D. Ma'am Elna Blanker, letter D. Ang gagaling, mas magaling pa sa akin ngayon. Ang ating mga members ng Team Pablo. Ayan, negative two-thirds. And indeed, the answer here is negative two-thirds, which is letter D. So again, same same uh, process po. Ayan, um, that's mode one, computation mode one. Is, and then you type in the equation. That's three alpha x Squared, ayusin ko lang po ang aking PDF so that uh, when I, uh, so that pag binigay ko sa inyo ay atama po ang process. Okay? Uh, minus 5 alpha x alpha y alpha y and then plus 8 alpha y alpha y that is alpha calc is equal to 0 and then shift comma and then alpha y. Alpha Y, para malaman ng calculator, nang hinahanap natin ay, um, ay ang Y. Then shift, solve. Then enter the value of X, which is negative 2, negative 2, and then press equal, solve for Y. And that's negative 0 0.6666. And that is equal to, as mathematics majors, alam nyo to, na ang negative 2 thirds is negative 0 0.666. Kahit po, sabi nyo natin, ayan, negative Two over three is equal to SD negative point six 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 seven. Ayan, sana malina po sa lahat, malina po sa lahat na nagkamali si Coach kanina ng pagtindot ng calculator. Ayan, so the correct answer indeed is item a uh, letter D negative two thirds. So let's proceed to our next item. Our next item. Ito, malpalaging marami na tatapat sa trigonometry pagdating sa licensure examination. Pero kapag uh, may calculator kayo during the licensure examination, mani po ang, cal ang, ang trigonometry kahit hindi nyo uh, memorize. Ang inyong hexagonal function ay madali po ito. Actually, this um, question ay pwedeng solve sa matamata lang ng mga mathematics major because tangent A, ito po itong, itong actually, this is a typographical error na uh, nakita rin na, na ganito rin talaga ang lumabas na na uh, question sa licensure examination. Tangent A, um, A ito, ang A na to is multiplication. is a multiplication symbol. That's tangent A times cosine A, sine A. Pag matamatahin, um, kunyari tangent A, alam natin na ito ay sine A over cosine A. Multiply mo siya sa cosine A over sine A. Matamata, alam mo makakancel mo to, alam mo makakancel mo to, ito rin, ito rin, and the answer is equal to 1. Ayan. Pero kung hindi mo memorize ang ang iyong uh, trigonometric function and trigonometric identity, ayan, kumapit po tayo sa Caltech at isolve natin ito sa pamamagitan ng Caltech. Ayan, lahat po ay nasasolve sa trigonometry and nasasolve po ng calculator. So ito po, this is the process. That's um, actually, this can be solved by um, a simple mode one. Ang iba po, pag, pero um, remember, kapag nasa trigonometry po tayo, it's beneficial na nasa radian mode tayo. But this one can be solved using the uh, mode one, no, computation mode. So here, you have here tangent. Substitute mo ang, ang, ang A sa X. Ayan. You put the multiplication sign and then um, fraction sign. That is cosine alpha X over sine alpha x and just press equals and you will have one indeed as the correct answer. That's letter B. Hindi mo na kailangan mag-RCL pa. Inlagay ko lang ito dito. Kasi kamisan, you want to check. You want to check. Ayan. Kasi kapag uh, na, um, shift store A mo to, ang, ang choice mo na one, ayan, one, ganito pa ang check ah, um, minus or divide by recall A, that would be equal to 1. Yan po ang tama sagot. Yan po ang checking. Or sometimes you can do subtraction of your stored value of the question from your choices para po malaman ninyo ang tama, ang na-correct ang inyong mga um, answers. 
Okay, so very good, very good. Ang gagaling ng members ng Team Pablog. And the correct answer indeed is letter B. That's one. Ayan, ay, this is an identity. Ayan, correct, correct po. Ma'am Janine Miles, Okon Bakani, very good. So let's proceed to the next item, which is again a bonus item. Simplify to second of A times tangent of A. Is it A, sine of A, B, second of A, C, cosecant of A, or letter D, cosine of A. Another item which can be solved by matamata methods, matamata method of, of <clears throat> math, math majors. Ayan. So again, if you're answering, apakitype in po ng uh, item number and then the letter of your choice. And if it is a bonus item, just type in bonus or B and the letter of your choice. So what's your answer? Marami pong sumasagot ng letter B, letter B, which is again, Correct. Ayan. Correct. Alam natin na ang alam natin na ang cosine of a ay ang, ang cosecant of a. This is one over this is one over sine of a. Multiply mo siya sa tangent, which is sine sine of a over cosine of a. Ang this is tangent ta sine over cosine, and then you can simply cancel sine of a, which is equal to one over cosine of a. At alam natin na ang second of A, second of A is equal to 1 over cos cosine of A kasi ang second is 1 over cosine of A. However, kung hindi po kayo marunong gumamit ng, uh, I mean, mag-solve using uh, your, your identities, say, gamitin ulit natin ng ating calculator. So, this is the process on your screen. Ayan, on your screen, meron tayong again, that's mode 1. Mode 1 and then type in the equation at gumamit ng inverse function ang um, cosecant. Ay, sabi ko na nga kanina, cosecant of A. This is 1 over cosine of A. Uh, 1 over sine of A. Sine alpha x. Then, i-multiply natin sa tangent. Dire dito, diretso tangent na. Hindi mo na kailangan ng identity. Tangent alpha x. Ayan. This is equal to 1.8. 0, 6, 6, now about 1 over sign. Ayan, then um, shift store A. And then, um, nasold na natin ganyan. Ito ay second of A. So, let's proceed to second. Uh, Pag-sold ng second. Sa letter B na kaagad, diretso na tayo. Second is 1 over cosine. So, 1 over cosine of alpha x. This is equal to 1.066. To check if your answer is correct, just type divide, uh, recall A, and that would be that should be equal to 1. Math error, math error po ba? Bakit po math error, sir? Um, kailangan po, um, tama po ang inyong identities kung gagamitin niyo kung uh, Kasi po, ang, ang calculators natin, hanggang sine, cosine, and tangent lang. Wala po tayong um, cosecant, second, and cotangent. So kapag yun po ang ang hinihingi po ng question ay gumamit kayo ng inverse function. Ayan. So, sa lahat po ng sumagot ng letter B, congratulations. At sa mga hindi po sumagot ng letter B, ngayon alam nyo na kung paano mag-solve using your calculators. Ayan. So, ito ang palagi kinatatakutan ng math majors, ang karamihan sa math majors ay takot sa trigonometry pagdating sa licensure examination. However, with the use of your calculators, mani po ang, ang trigonometry. Ayan. Second of A, tama po yan, Ma'am Shirley Pasqua. So let's proceed to our next item. We have here item number 24. Ito, what is the simplest form of sine 1 half of x minus cosine 1 half of x quantity squared? Is it A, 1 plus cosine of x, B, 1 plus sine of x, C, 1 minus cosine of x, D1 minus sine of x. Again, this is a previous licensure examination question during my season and during the season after mine. So, pwede pong bumalik itong a, a specific item na to. Again, number 24. What is the simplest form of sine 1 half of x minus cosine 1 half of x quantity squared? Is it A, 1 plus cosine of x, B, 1 plus sine of x, C, 1 minus cosine of x, D, 1 minus sine of x. So, what's your Answer, ayan po, pakitype in po ng, let, ng number 24 and then the letter of your choice. Ayan, I'm waiting for your answer. Ayan, may sumasagot na. Uh, number 24, that's letter D according to Facebook user. Ayan, so hindi ko pa nakikita ang sagot ng iba, dalawang Facebook user. Letter D, 
ano po ba amam else mm, le ayan multo pa rin po mat error din po sa akin ayan we will go back to that don't worry am um, hindi niyo lang po na encode ng tama na encode ng tama kaya po naging math error katulad ng ginawa ko kanina sa previous item na hindi ko na encode ng tama hindi ko na manipulate ng tama ang calculator kaya um, nagma math error so here Uh, pag ganito ang tanungan, marunong ka dapat gumamit ng ng parenthesis, ng parenthesis para tumama yung sagot dito. Ayan, um, that's the steps in answering. Sabayan po ninyo ako. Sabayan po ninyo ako. That's mode 1, mode 1. And then, um, huwag tayo mag-assign ng value kasi we are using fx 570 s plus diretso na x na. Kasi pwede na itong, um, pwede ka rin mag-assign ng values actually dito which will give you the same answer. Pero dito sa 570 x plus, X na lang ang gamitin mo. So this is um, this is sine, uh, open parenthesis sine, and then one half, one half, ilipat ang cursor. That's alpha x, and then um, close parenthesis, then minus cosine. This is cosine, then one half, ilipat ang cursor alpha x. And then close the parenthesis, close the parenthesis, that's one half x, and then close again the parenthesis, and then square. Yan. So ganyan po. And then you will have here 1.034, um, 899, and so on. That's shift, store, A. Shift, store, A. Mauna tayo doon sa letter D, kasi po yun ang sagot ng karamihan. Ayan. So... 1 and then 1 minus sine of alpha x is equal to, ayan, kitang-kita nyo na, na ito ang tamang sagot kasi the same value po, 1.03489947. Uh, and if you want to check again, divide the answer, recall A, that should give you 1 or close to 1. Ayan. So, tama po ang ating letter D nga po ang tamang sagot. Ayan. So, letter D ang tamang sagot. Congratulations sa lahat ng sumagot ng letter D. Ganyan po ang, ang siguraduhin lang na marunong kayong gumamit ng mga parenthesis sign kung ganito ang mga tanungan sa um, trigonometry pati na rin sa differential and integral equa differential equation and um, Uh, calculus sa uh, differential calculus, integral calculus, or pag may lalabas na DE or differential equation, kailangan may mga parenthesis ka. Okay? Pwede ka rin ang gumamit na isubtract mo ang choices and then you uh, subtract mo from uh, the stored value, kailangan zero ang lalabas. Isang paraan din sa pag-check. 1.91 po sa akin. Facebook user, pakiulit po mamaya ng, ng video. And then you try solving, uh, you try uh, following the steps. Sundan mo ang steps na ginagawa ko at siguradong hindi ka magkakamali. Ayan. So let's proceed to the next item because I'm trying to cover 30 items for for 25 items or 30 items for this session. Para po, uh, isang session na lang tayo. Kasi kapag hindi ako nakapag-cover ng, ng 30 sessions, ngayon, magdadalawang session pa tayo para umabot tayo sa double integration or double differentiation. So, let's go to and proceed to item number 25. The length of two sides of a triangle is 6.5 cm and 9.4 cm, respectively. The angle between them is 131 degrees. The third side is A, 14.5 cm, B, 15.5 cm, C, 16.5 cm, or letter D, 17.5 cm. Sir Danny Salvador, pakiulit po mamaya ng video at um, pakicheck na rin sa ating uh, PDF copies, a copy which will be provided to you. Okay? So again, number 25, please type in the number of the question and the letter of your choice. The length of the two sides of a triangle is 6.5 cm and 9.4 cm respectively. The angle between them is 131 degrees. The third side is A, 14.5 cm, B, 15.5 cm, C, 16.5 cm, or letter D, 17.5 cm. Alam ninyo na this can be solved via the cosine law. The cosine law. Pero, um, mas madali po dito sa calculator. So, ano po ang tamang sagot? Letter A, ang sagot ng karamihan. Cosine law, it's mode 2. Ayan. So, cosine law, tingnan natin. Mode 2 complex. Very good. Very good, ma'am. Elna Blanker. This is cosine law. Then, this is mode 2. Mode 2, um, complex. Complex mode. Complex mode. And then, shift 
HYP, that's absolute value. And then you type in one side, that's 6.5. 6.5, yan po ang isang side. Minus, that's 9.4, that's the second side. And then type in the angle between them, that's shift. This is the angle. And then type in 131 and the angle. And you just press equals. And that's voila. You have 14.5182. And that's letter A. Ayan. Wala pa po. Wala pa pong PDF kahapang ngayon po. Uh, matapos ang second part, ibibigay ko po. Ayan. Um, ibibigay ko po kay Coach Mac para po isang session lang tayo pag nakarami tayo ngayon. Pero pwede rin itong balik na rin ha. Pwede itong balik na rin. Uh, pwede balik na rin ito. Actually, ang mga sides. Pwede, ganito pa rin ang lalabas. Tama pa rin ang lalabas kahit nabaligtad mo. 9.4 minus 6.5 shift angle. That's 131 equals 14.518 pa rin po ang lalabas. Ayan. So, tama po. Tama. And the correct answer here is letter A. Letter A nga po ang tamang sagot. Ayan. Nakapagpaparaktis sa paggamit ng calculators. Ayan. So, let's proceed to the next item again, which is item number 26. This is again an actual board exam question. What is the third side of the triangle if B is equal to 47, C is equal to 58, and theta, theta is equal to 63? Again, that's theta, pronounced theta, is equal to 63. Is it A, the square root of 8048.2, B, Square root of 5573, C square root of 3090, or letter D, square root of 3097.8. What's your answer? And sabi ni Ma'am Faith Joy Javier, that's letter D. Again, how about the others? Please keep your answers coming and please key in your answers in our comment box. So, what is the third side of the triangle if B is equal to 47, C is equal to 58, and theta is equal to 63. Is it A, the square root of 8048.2, B, 8, square root of 5573, C, square root of 3090, or letter D, square root of 3097.8? Ayan. Karamihan, ang sagot ay letter D. May sumasagot ng letter C. Sabi niyo, Elna, it's letter C. Ano nga ba ang tamang sagot? Okay. So again, this is mode 2 uh, complex kasi this is cosine law. And cosine law can be solved by complex mode. Okay? Yan. So again, mode 2. Siguraduhin na tama ang inyong mga mood para walang away. Ayan. So, shift HYP. That's absolute values. We type in the first um, length and then minus the second, which is uh, second side, which is 58. And the angle between them, which is 63. And just press equal. That's 55.65. 55.65. Pero wala sa choices. Ayan. Wala sa choices. Ang ginagawa ko, nung ako, hindi ako marunong mag-store, mag, uh, ang ginagawa ko actually ay sinusulat ko siya. Sinusulat ko siya. And that is again, 55.66. 55.66. Ayan. And then, iisa-isahin ko yan. Iisa-isahin ko. Ang ginagawa ko, iisa-isa ko. Ayan. So, iisa-isahin natin. Um, square root of 8048.2 is not equal to 55.66. So we type in again, choice B, letter B, five, square root of 5573 equals, and that's 74, hindi pa rin 55.65 or 66. And letter C, that's square root of 3090. Again, hindi pa rin parehas. Ayan, konting may konting difference. So, let's try letter D. That's square root of 3097.8 I swak na swak sa ating sagot. Ayan. So, that's letter D. Letter D po ang ating tamang sagot. Ayan. Letter D. Ayan. Pwede po. Pwede square the answer. Easier. Ayan. Ang ginagawa ko siya dati, ang ginagawa ko talagang ni isa-isa ko para sigurado ako. Um, kaya nga pa sinasabi ko, whatever process you are comfortable with, um, please, uh, you have all the rights to, um, by all means po, you can use that. Okay. So let's proceed to item number 27. Ito. Um, calculate tangent 45 plus cosine pi over 6. Is it A, 2 minus square root of 5 over 2? 
B, 2 plus square root of 5 over 2. C, 2 minus square root of 3 over 2. D, 2 plus square root of 3 over 2. Um, Ma'am Almera Sumanding Abdullah, um, assalamu alaikum. Um, ito, uh, sa mathematics majors po, ay majorship, pwede gumamit ng calculators. calculator. During the math majorship lang po. Hindi po pwede sa gen ed. Linawin po natin yan. Linawin po natin na ang mga math majors ay allowed gumamit ng calculator, pero sa math majorship lang. Ayan. So, itong item na to pala, actually, during my season, during the let, my let season, tatlong beses siyang lumabas sa isang exam. Tatlong beses. Kaya pwede din lumabas ulit sa inyo. So, ang sagot ni Ma'am Elna, letter D, Facebook user, letter D, Sir Errol John D. Guzman Benetrante, letter D. So, ano nga ba ang ating tamang sagot? Ayan. So, mode 1 ulit tayo. Mode 1, mode 1, let's tayo, computation mode. You type in tangent 45, tangent 45, and then close the parentheses, plus cosine, cosine shift pi over 6. Pero kailangan malaman ng calculator natin na ito ay radian at ay hinahanap natin ay degrees kasi nasa degrees mode tayo. So we key in degrees by keying, by, by keying in shift ends and then choosing 2 for radians and then close the parentheses and just press equals. So you have 2 plus square root of 3 over 2 which is the correct answer and that's letter D. So ang galing. Ang galing ng calculators, <laughs> hindi ang galing natin. Ang galing, magaling lang tayo mag-input, magaling ang calculator sumagot. Ayan. So that's letter D. Uh, Ma'am Manolin Avocado Aliven, letter D, correct. Sir Dan Miguel Subia, letter D, correct. The correct choice for item number 27 is letter D. Ayan. So let's proceed to our next item. Our next item. Ito, simplify tangent arrow arrow A minus sine arrow arrow A. Is it A, tangent arrow arrow A, sine arrow arrow A, B, cosecant arrow arrow A, C, second arrow arrow A, D, sine arrow arrow A, cosine arrow arrow A. Ayan, what's your answer? What's your answer for item number 28? Again, simplify tangent Alam nyo na na ang dalawang arrow is squared. So, tangent squared A minus sine squared A. Dahil explain ko na yung kahapon. Isa ito sa mga typographical errors ng ating mathematics majorship. Ayan. So, is it A, tangent squared A, sine squared A? B, cosecant um, squared A? C, second squared A? Or letter D, sine squared A, cosine squared A? What's your answer sa ating item number 28? Please keep your answers Coming sa ating item number 28. Ang sabi ni Facebook user, letter A. Ma'am, ah, Facebook user, dito sa cellphone ko is Ma'am L.E. That's 28, hindi pa rin nakakapag-authorize uh, sa StreamYard. Sir Abdel Juheri, letter A. Ma'am X.A. Pangan, letter A. Ma'am Og Maria Teresa Ogrimen, letter A. Ma'am Elna Blanker, letter A. Um, Tingnan natin kung tama ang ating sagot na letter A. Again, same po dito. Kailangan natin mag-shift mode 4 sa region para sigurado tayo. That's shift mode 4. This is radians. You are already in the um, radian mode. <clears throat> and then, parenthesis, ito ginagawa ko palagi. Tangent alpha x, close the parenthesis and then square, and then minus sine, Sine alpha x, close parenthesis, and then square, and then square, and then you close the parenthesis, and then it will give you 3.9475, and then shift store A. Ayan, kasi malamis masakot ng letter A. Letter A, tingnan natin yung letter A nga ba ang tamang sagot. Nakasore na tayo, may uh, memory na tayo na A. So let's try solving tangent, tangent. Alpha x squared, alpha x squared, then times sine alpha x, close the parenthesis squared. And this will give you 3.94755. And to check, we divide that by the stored value. We just store that should be equal to, oops, bucket 3.81. Answer God. Let's recall. Recall A, that's one point. Oh, hindi tayo nakapag-recall kanina. Hindi tayo nakapag-solve. Um, Again, tangent 
tangent alpha x close to parenthesis squared then minus sine alpha x close to parenthesis and then squared and that is indeed equal to 3.9475 which is the same actual value no compute natin ang letter a so the correct answer for this one is letter a congratulations sa lahat ng sumagot ng letter a medyo magagaling na talaga ang members ng team pavlov sa paggamit ng scientific calculators na ngamoy top notcher na naman sa team pavlov let's proceed to item number 29 calculate tangent pi over 3 times cosecant pi over 6. Is it A, 3 square root of 2, B, negative 3 square root of 2, C, negative 2 square root of 3, or letter D, 2 square root of 3? What's your answer? Ano po ang sagot? Number 29, calculate tangent pi over 3 times cosecant pi over 6. Is it A, 3 square root of 2, B, negative 3 square root of 2, C, negative 2 square root of 3, or letter D, 2 square root of 3. What's your answer? Ayan. Magsumasagot na, Ma'am Maria Teresa Ogremen. That's letter D. Ayan. Walang kahirap-hirap. Ang trigonometry kapag may calculator. Sabi ni Ma'am L na letter D. Facebook user. Uh, I think that's Ma'am L. Ayan. Ma'am L. That's letter D also. Sabi ni Ma'am L. Sir, in, um, uh, I don't have prints. That's letter D then. Sabi ni Ma'am Shini. Ryan Bonanza, letter D. Then nakikita ko kasi ang pangalan nyo kapag nasa, nasa mobile phone ako tumitingin. Kapag nasa stream yard, multo po ang nakikita ko. Sabi ni Sir Kenneth Brigino, that's letter D. Sabi ni Sir Jobert Mendoza, letter D. Tindan natin kung letter D nga po ba ang tamang sagot. Again, ito po ang steps. Sabayan nyo ako. Sa mga hindi po nag-key ng answers ninyo, you just ensure na nasa mode, uh, shift, uh, shift, mode, Four, tayo nasa radian mode tayo. Then, shift mode 4, nasa radian na ba tayo? Okay, nasa radian. Input the equation using the inverse functions for the CSN. Sabi ko kanina, this is tangent, tangent, shift pi over 3. And then, ilabas, you close the parentheses and you multiply that by, this is 1 over, this is 1 over time, Kasi ang CSC is 1 over sine. Then this is shift pi over 6. Over 6. And then you close the parentheses. And mag-equals lang po tayo. Ang sagot ay 2 square root of 3. And indeed, letter D nga po ang tamang sagot. Ayan. Congratulations, Ma'am Alice, Sir Errol John D. Guzman Penetrante, Ma'am Janine Miles Ocon Bacani, letter D po. Ma'am Mag Giloto Mage po ba? Mage Loto in Playo. Um, letter D then. So, congratulations, Ma'am Gemma Paler Aporto. Ayan. Let's proceed to our next item, which is item number 30. Item number 30, the expression tangent 2i, cosine 2i is equivalent to blank. Another actual board exam question. A, 2 sine 2i, B, cosine 2i, sine 2i, D, sine i. Actually, sa tingin-tingin, nakukuha nyo rin ito. Tingin-tingin, math majors, medyo uh, magpasikat naman dyan. What's your answer for item number 30? The expression tangent 2i times cosine 2i is equivalent to A, 2 sine 2i, B, cosine 2i, C, sine 2i, or letter D, sine 2i. As sabi ni Ma'am Meline Solima, it's the letter A. Shout out, uh, Ma'am Angel John Agliones. Sir Kenneth Brigino, letter B. Ako kaya nitong isolve, kaya nitong isolve sa tingin-tingin lang. Tangent is sine over cosine. 30C, ayan, nagkaiba na ang sagot ng taong bayan. Sabi ni Sir Abdel Jukiri is letter C. Ano nga ba ang tamang sagot? Okay, let's use our calculator. Okay, so we input um, shift mode 4. Ayan, shift mode 4 and then all clear. Ayan, nasa radius ta, nasa radian mode tayo. Input expression, this is um, tangent 2 alpha x square, uh, close the parenthesis, I mean, times cosine alpha x, uh, alpha 2 to alpha x pala to. Uh, 2 alpha x. And then you multiply that, that will give you 0. 0.75680. Shift, store, A. And then, Punta tayo sa, kunyari, um, letter C, sine 
2i sine 2 alpha x is equal to Ayan, hindi ko sinasadya na letter C ka agad na pindot ko, pero letter C nga po ang tamang sagot. Ayan, ganyan po, ganyan po. Congratulations. Ay, Sir Angel John Agliones, uh, I'm sorry for that. Ayan, patawarin po si Coach Toto. Ayan, kasi po nagkakapareha lang po. Nagkakapareha lang pangalan kung isang pangalan ng babae, pangalan ng lalaki. So nawawala rin po ang, ang gender uh, pagdating sa pangalan. Ayan, so ang tamang sagot dito ay actually letter C. Letter C. Ayan. So maraming tumama sa letter C. So let's proceed to our next item. That's item number 31. Ayan. Simplify ito. Cotangent of A over second of A plus 1 over cosecant of A. Is it A? Cosine A. B. Sine A. C. Tangent A. D. Cosecant of A. Kayang-kayang isolve manually para para mas mabilis. Gumamit ng calculators. What's your answer? Again, number 31, simplify cotangent of A over second of A plus 1 over cosecant of A. Is it A, cosine of A, B, 